With several key cases of the Zika virus recorded in the Bahamas, health and tourism officials met today at the Hilton Resort to take a look at Zika's impact on the country's number one industry. The group participated in an informative session to ensure that all steps are taken to fight the mosquito-transmitted disease. Aladon Davis has more. It was an informative meeting for key stakeholders to examine ways to ward off contracting the Zika virus and discuss the possible impact it could have on the vital tourism sector. Already, the Bahamas has eight confirmed cases and some 83 suspected cases still being investigated. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Glenn Benavy says the Zika virus could pose significant concerns for pregnant women, men, and infants, as well as maternal and child health care in this country. The end results, he says, could pose a major strain on the country's health services. This public health intervention is resulting in us having to prepare new budgets and upgrade our budgeting. It gives us some very positive opportunities, however, to work with you, our partners, to work with education, to work with all of the other ministries. And it brings to mind the PAHO, now popular statement, of health policies in all ministries. Director of Tourism Joy Jibalu says many countries around the region are experiencing Zika outbreaks. She is hoping for a united effort to fight the disease before it affects our tourism product. It is still too early to tell if the few recorded cases of Zika in New Providence has had or will have any impact on travel bookings to the Bahamas. This is something, though, that we at the Ministry of Tourism are monitoring very, very closely. The CDC has issued Alert Level 2 for the Bahamas, and that is practice enhanced precaution, along with most of the Caribbean and Latin America. Assistant Director of Environmental Health Andrew Thompson says even though fogging exercises have been beefed up across this country, Bahamians must discard large containers of water to prevent an increase in the mosquito population. When there is uh, water in the container and it's, it's flooded for the first time, you would have some eggs um, um, hatching. But they are not, no fools. They don't hatch all at the same time. They wait again for some other... Uh, water to come by so 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 um there is no one single development so they do it over time and then if there is no water they say okay i will stick around for a year as a team of health providers and industry professionals keep a close eye on the zika virus tourism officials have also been asked to post teams at various points of entry to heighten the awareness of the mosquito-borne disease ladon davis zns network news